TSN's list of the top 50 NHL players is going to be revealed throughout next week. With a look ahead, here are Craig Button and Dave Poole. Gentlemen, ahead of the list being released, our focus today is really simple, and it's on one single player. Guess who? Dave, we're going to start with you. Does Connor Bedard even belong on TSN's top 50 NHLers list this season, despite the fact he's never played a single game in the NHL? He does belong on the list, Gino, and he's on mine at number 46. You know, I have the opportunity to watch some of these kids as they're coming through the system. We do the U18s, and we watch them in the World Juniors, and we get a firsthand look, and it's all about comparison. And when I scouted, when you would talk to your scouting director, they would say, who does he remind you of? Well, this is a special player, and this is arguably one of the top four or five players that's entered the NHL in the last 20 years. The beauty of this top 50 list is we get latitude. We're told project ahead. This isn't what's happened in the past. Project ahead on who you think is going to be in the top 50 this year. This is a special player. He's not only a great goal scorer, he's a great passer. It's an equal number of goals and assists, but he creates his own shot like seldom. You just seldom see someone be able to do that. He's going to do it at the National Hockey League level. He's going to do it for the Chicago Blackhawks. He's got good players to play with. Lucas Reichel could have a big year as another youngster. Taylor Hall will be there to help him out. He belongs in the top 50. You know, I really can't argue with anything that Dave said because he is a special player, and he's shown that at every level that he's played at. World Junior, U18, the Western Hockey League is a dominant player. And the reason I don't have him in my top 50 is because that top 50 is a pretty special group. Here's how I project Connor Bedard in his rookie year, a true 18-year-old. 25 to 30 goals, 65 to 70 points. Well, let me put that in perspective. Last season in the NHL, there were 60 players that had 70 points or more. Eight of them were defensemen. There was 54 players that had 30 goals or more. I don't have any question in, question in my mind that Connor Bedard's going to have a productive year, but to be in that top 50, you have to really establish yourself as not just good enough to be in the discussion, but to take a place in there. I don't see it yet, though. I don't think there's a, enough talent around them. That's not going to diminish him, and it doesn't mean that he's not going to be a productive player. I just think, as a top 50 player, to push somebody out and to put yourself in there without ever playing a game, I think that becomes difficult to do. And when I looked at other players, and yes, Connor McDavid was on pace for over a point a game when he got hurt, but for Connor Bedard, I don't see him unseating anybody to put himself in the top 50 from the way I'm looking at it and what it takes. And I didn't even mention any goaltenders in the top uh, players. You've got to consider a lot of different players that he would have to push out to be in the top 50. And I want that wild card, Craig. I want that excitement. I want to find a player who's going to upset the apple card coming in. And I think this is the guy. I really do. And when I got down, I went through the process. I got down to my last 10, 12, 14. And by the way, I always have a 51st player on that list. And I just got down to that list and I thought, who do I really want to see play? Who's really going to excite me this year? And there's some great players in that group that I omitted from this list. I'm excited to see Connor Bernard play. I think he's gonna be one of the top players in the league. All right, guys, 10 seconds each. Answer this question for you. How many games do you think it takes Connor Bernard to fully adjust before a viewer can watch him play and go, yeah, he's now comfortable, he's now adjusted. This is what we're seeing from Bernard. Craig, let's begin with you. How many games? Uh, well, I mean, he, he's gonna be thrown right into it right off the bat. He opens up against Pittsburgh, but I don't think it'll take him very long. One thing I've noticed and seen from Connor Bedard over the years, he learns quickly and okay. he adapts quickly and he can make an impact pretty quickly as well. He's also got the advantage of having played in the world championships. He's played up levels. So I think he gets in pretty quick too, Gino. Maybe plays five or six of the exhibition games. He'll be ready to go when puck drops opening night. One last question. One year from today, when we're having the same conversation, where do you think Bedard's going to be ranked in our top 50? Craig? 48. <laughs> Fully. He's going up 10 spots from 46 to 36 next year, Gino.
All right, there are your projections. The top 50 list will start being revealed on Monday. Hockey analysts Craig Button and Dave Poulin.